We ate at 16 different tavernas in the Ayanapa area and we rated them all. Watch all videos to see which one we like the best. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So, the first taverna we will be reviewing is Dione, a nice taverna very close to the hotel where we live. So as you can imagine, after a long trip, we were very tired. So we basically picked the first one we saw. Starting off with Dione's low points. Hugo, what was the low points for you? The low points for me was the halloumi. It wasn't that smooth and uh, creamy as you'd like it. It was pretty chewy and a bit, not that a bit sturdy, right? Yeah, exactly. And Remy, the low points for you? The low points for me was the calamari. It uh, it was very chewy and it basically grew in your mouth, right? Yeah. I also tried Remy's calamari, and I can assure you guys, it was too chewy for our liking. Also, one low point that we noticed was the interior wasn't that cozy as you would prefer it to be. The service was all right, wasn't too bad, wasn't too good. It was basically okay. Moving on to the high points, guys. The high point for me was definitely the mushrooms and garlic. They were very tasty. And the high points for Remy was the garlic bread. It was very tasty. I also think it was one of the best garlic bread in all the tavernas we tried. So, time to rate Diona for you guys. My rating will be a solid 7. And my points for Diona is 6 out of 10. I also gave them a 6 out of 10. The total points for Diona is 19 out of 30. And that leaves Diona with an average rating of 6.3. Moving on to the second Tavana we tried, and it was Stamna, a Tavana that has gotten very high rating on TripAdvisor. And what was the low point on Stamna? Ugo, what do you think? There wasn't any kind of low point, everything was kind of average. I would agree with Hugo. There wasn't any dish that tasted amazing. One low point that I can remember right now is that the taverna was quite small, it got crowded very fast and also we got seated next to the road so you could hear the traffic and you could smell the emissions from the vehicles. The low point for me was the smoked pork. Uh, it tastes like basically something you put on a sandwich, it was not wow. So Remy, what would you say was the high points at Stamna Taverna? The high points for me was that it was very cozy on the restaurant. It was very good lightning, so the lightning uh, gave us a cozy feeling. That was the high point for me. What was the high point for you, Hugo? Uh, one high point for me was definitely the garlic mushrooms. We thought they were going to be kind of like the ones at uh, Dione, yeah. because they were very good, so we wanted to have them again. But they were, they were actually better. They tasted more citrusy and uh, there wasn't as creamy as the one said the owner, but it was better overall. Better. I agree with her. So what points does that leave Stamna with? For me, I gave Stamna a solid 8 out of 10. And I gave them a 7 out of 10. And I gave them a 7 out of 10. And that leaves Stamna with 22 points out of 30 points. And that's an average of 7.3 out of 10. So, day two on our trip, we decided to visit Prutaras. And as you can imagine, we tried a restaurant there. And the name of that restaurant was Vangelis. Me and the guys, we decided to take the bike all the way from Nisi Beach to Prutaras. That was approximately 20 kilometers in 30 degrees heat Celsius. We start with the low points. Hugo, what was the low point for you? The low points for me was the buns. The buns we got first served to us, they were very sturdy. And they were even a bit cold, I would say. And they weren't that tasty, to be honest. Also, one of the dips we got with the buns, I, I'm not sure what we would call that dip. It was like buttery. It was supposed to be like a garlic butter, but it, it tasted like crap, to be honest. And the low point for me, was the sausage. When I ordered the sausage, I was expecting a spicy sausage, but instead I got some grimy sausage with vegetables in it. Yeah, I can chime in on that. The sausage was too gross for me to even try, 
but I gave it a good smell and it smelled like cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon and it tasted kind of like oatmeal. It was very grainy basically. Moving on to the high points, there actually was some high points for me and one of them was the carrot balls. I absolutely love those types of dishes and it basically was cooked to perfection for my liking. And also I think I remembered Hugu liking the halloumi over there. Yeah, the halloumi was really good, way better than at Stamna. And even the Ona. Yes, it was super soft and creamy and we got it straight off the grill. Yeah, for sure. And also I would say it had the perfect color for a grilled halloumi with the stripes and everything. For me, there wasn't any high points on Margelis. I think everything was bad. The food was bad for me, the vibe was bad, the service was bad. I didn't like it at all. One more high point I can remember was the different dips we got served. We got them in the small cups and I think it was like five or six of them. And I can remember they tasted good. Moving on to the rating, guys. I gave Vangelis Tavana in Putaras a 7 out of 10. And I gave it a 4 out of 10. I gave them a 5 out of 10. That leaves Vangelis Tavana in Putaras a 17 out of 30 points. That <laughs> leaves them with an average of 5.6 5 points. Moving on to the next Tavana. And that was the Tavana Mangas here at Nisi Avenue. Okay, so what was the low points for you? For me, there wasn't any low points at all for me. I think the restaurant was good. I would agree with that. There wasn't any clear-cut low points for me neither. I thought there were some low points for me. One example were the dips. I just didn't really like them. And I didn't enjoy the fried feta. I ordered the spaghetti bolognese and it tastes really good with the parmesan and the garlic bread. So you would say it was a high point for you? Yes, definitely. The high point for me was definitely the fried feta cheese. I don't agree with Hugo on that one. They did that dish to absolute perfection. So the fried feta cheese was definitely my high point at Mangas. One high point for me was the halloumi stuffed pita bread. It was really good and it tasted like a good combination of halloumi and smoked ham, smoked ham exactly in a good pita bread. It was like a very good sandwich. I agree with Hugo, it was very tasty for sure. Moving on to the rating, I gave Mangas Taverna at Nisi Avenue a 9 out of 10 points. I gave Mangas a 8.5 out of 10. And I gave them a 9 out of 10. Leaving Mangas Taverna with a 26.5 points out of 30. And that leaves Mangas Taverna with 8.8 .8 points. Thank you.